Now, you know, self-driving cars are becoming so, so much more prevalent on the roads, but experts say that technology needs to further adapt and learn to predict human behavior as drivers are encountering a lot of headaches when they come face to face with one. Our Chris Sanchez spoke to NBCLX storyteller Peter Hole to find out what he's uncovered. There's a lot of uh, what they call last mile problems related to these uh, self-driving vehicles. And, and the first thing really to understand is that the cars really aren't at the stage where we can comfortably call them self-driving. Um, a lot of the cases you've probably seen in the Bay Area, cases we have in Dallas, these cars are really operating on a closed circuit. Um, and even though they're on the freeway, it might not seem like such a closed circuit, but they're really sh uh, strict confined areas where they're running these tests. Um, and that's really to, to get the regulatory, uh, ease regulatory concerns, actually. Now, we've been at it for a little while. So you found an expert who said that there are hard and fast rules governing these vehicles. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, there, some of the vehicles are using machine learning algorithms to sort of govern their decision making. And so in some cases, there's sort of this black box that's where decisions are happening and researchers can't really tell what's going on. Well, there are a lot of people on working to unpack what's happening in those black boxes, but some researchers are working on solutions that don't really require that black box approach. So it's more something that they can predict. And so one example is vehicles trying to navigate through a narrow corridor. You know, this is something I experience this every day. I'm sure you experience this, mm -hmm. but uh, you're on a narrow street and there's cars parked on both sides of the street and suddenly there's a car coming right in your direction. Mm -hmm. um, an AV needs to know how to navigate that. And to do that, it's actually got to learn how to predict the person in the other car's behavior and motives. Okay, so if we are not a driver of a self-driving car, um, and, but we find that we are on the road with one that maybe is not doing what it's supposed to, what, what should we do to help navigate that situation? Well, the car is designed to really react to what you're doing and what it's seeing. So if you carry about, you know, your normal activity, you're probably in the best. Um, it, you know, if you try to stop and troubleshoot the vehicle, you may cause more problems. And really, I don't think that the vehicles are designed to have just anybody, you know, try to troubleshoot them. So really, my best suggestion is to carry on with your normal business. Um, don't hit the car. Try not to get hit. But if you carry about normally, the car is going to react to you. You can watch the full story on NBC LX. You can also check out other stories like it anytime at LX.com. You can watch LX on Xfinity, Channel 185, or over the air on Channel 11 5.